Hello, Hello there. there. Kyle Katarn here. I'm Mabendu. Coming back for another reaction to Andor. Right, episode two of the three episode premiere. Uh, shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Imperial blockade. Yes. Uh, if you uh, want to check out the full length unedited version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to our Patreon page. But yes, no, Chronic, your work is legendary. Absolutely legendary. Yes, we're right in the middle of the three-episode premiere event right now. Um, still kind of reeling from the first episode. Like, it has such a different vibe from other Star Wars that we've seen so far. It seems like they're really slowing down and taking their time, giving us a lot of exposition. And I fucking just can't wait to see what happens next, dude. I don't even want to wait anymore. We should just dive in. I agree. It is interesting seeing, trying to figure out when they're switching the timelines, but at least it's like simple enough figuring out, you know, obviously which timeline is which one. But I'm right, curious right. how often throughout the series it's going to do that. I think we're going to get pretty frequent flashbacks to him being a kid. But otherwise, I think the story story is going to kind of stay in that same time period, but it's going to jump forward a few times. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Cool. Um, best friends, are you ready? Oh, I am so ready. Going Let's... in this, this new world, God. Diving in headfirst over still, here, not a care. I feel world. like it's been a minute since we've been, since we've had like real new Star Wars. Like, yeah, Bad Batch is like it, it's it's new Star Wars, but it's you know it's like a side story sort of a thing. Whereas like this, it does it does somehow feel secondary. Um, I don't know the fact that this leads up to one of our favorite Star Wars movies also gives it special importance and significance you that's know true. that's fair that's maybe why i feel so just like automatically invested straight away you know the lead up that's true all right you ready yes do it the music though oh cool so i'm star wars but like still kind of star wars she's yeah. that little camouflage bug i feel like i'm watching the goonies right now Wow. Just mining the world for its resources. Whoa. Full stance. We were so curious in the trailer about what it was this guy was doing. He's totally signaling the start of shift. Wait, was oh, there a VCX-100 there? Did you see that ghost? That was a fucking was ghost. It was a fucking ghost, dude. A VCX 100. Yeah. Fucking no Easter eggs, my ass. <laughs> There's been so many already. Seeking. Oh, okay. It's the bulletin for Andor. And now he knows that she's wrapped up in it somehow. Don't you say a word. I mean it. Oh, shit. So this is Marva. Who else knows? About what? That you were born in Canary. I don't know. I. We have always said fest. Every doc I've ever submitted has always said you were born on fest. I messed up. So what is their relationship? I thought it was like a. Probably an She's not piece. from Canary. She's not his mom. Forget what I said this morning. I'll tell you the piece. He's coming. The virus coming. It's too late to call him off. He'll be here in the morning. Oh no, he's been drinking. This fucking guy. Dude, I love how the I love how practical all the sets are. Everything oh. is so fucking <laughs> That's Peter. Oh, he's going to the brothel? No, he's going into college. Oh, I see. I just the dome looked like the same as the bubbles people were in earlier. Yeah, no, he's he's total he's calling the cops. Hey, alright. I don't know. Pretty action-y for Star Wars. I was about to say, this is some new territory. So one suspect. How many men do you think we need? I say 12, sir, just to be prudent. Will you be sitting up with us, sir? Nothing like seeing an officer on the line. Excellent. If I may, sir, two men dead, line of duty, colleagues, it's outrageous. Exactly. The thought of anything less than full engagement on a case like this. Unconscionable, sir. Matt, the radar technician, that's what he's reminding me of. Exactly. Exactly! Corporate tactical forces are the Empire's first line of defense, and the best way to keep the blade sharp is to use it. 
I'll pass along your kind words to the chief inspector. So maybe it's something where like if they continue to do their jobs well, the Empire won't step in and like chew them off. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, that's what the chief inspector was saying. As long as they can keep their crime stats low, the Empire won't actually tune in and pay attention. Oh. The unbroken Imperial seal. Oh. Ah. Nice. That's pretty sweet. And she's like the bravest one. She goes first. Have we seen any adults on this? There planet? were. There was a group of of. There was a group of villagers that went back. Okay. Oh, that that green smoke makes me nervous. That could be dioxys. Optimized landing. Landing scanned and locked. Oh, that's such a cool shot. I love the rotation. That ship is so sick. It's like a TIE Reaper meets the, the Fury ship from Old Republic. What are you doing? I couldn't sleep. So you started to sit in a chair in the fucking other side of the room? Just about to put it on. He's, I feel like he's watching her sleep because he knows she's not going to be in his life for too much longer. Oh. Oh, look at the bantha. That's so Aww. cute. Oh, shit. That was his fighting stick. Is that an arm? Are those stormtroopers? No, they're not. Oh, they're just people. Wait, wait, wait. Was it the Separatist logo on his patch? Yep. Okay, they're Separatists. They kind of look like Mary Allens from that skin color. Like Barris and uh, Luminara. Oh, oh shit, one's alive. And he's armed. No, girl! Oh shit! Oh my god, blow darts? Amazing. Dude is getting so... Is chucked full of darts. Oh, this is amazing. Four <laughs> It wasn't shot down by the Empire, dude. It was shot down by the Republic. Oh, sorry, guys. No, that really sucks. I'm always curious how blaster bolts... She can't have been older than, like, 16. ...kill a person, you know? Internal fire sort of a situation. You just burn from... It burns head. through you, yeah. It's all about the heat. Canary, mid-rim. Abandoned after Imperial mining disaster. Oh, yeah? Mid-rim. That was the phrase I was trying to remember during our podcast. Oh, mid-rim. Mid-rim, yeah. You know anybody from Canary? Well, of course I know him. He's me. What kind of weird-ass shit is that? It's like a pyramid. Cassian Andor. Not a recent image, but the best we've got. <laughs> of course it's the cops. Andor should be considered armed and dangerous. We will have the element of surprise. Oh, yes, sir. There comes a time when the, the risk of doing nothing becomes the greatest risk of all. There's no room for doubt on the path to success. Not the best public speaker. Best of luck to us all. He's like, I nailed that. <laughs> oh, Skarsgård. You believe Skarsgård. this? Charging us to come and spend our money. They get you coming, eh? I like those folks from Pasana in the background there. You know what they say? What was that? If you can't find it here, it's not worth finding. And where exactly is here again? This is, um... The corporate world where Andor currently oh, lives. This music's very different. I dig it. Oh man, they keep ending the episodes wow. early. A lot more. Wow, that was already the end. What? Yeah, that time flew by, dude. Wow. Oh, and then it's, it's five minutes of credits based on Star. 
Oh, seriously. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Salen Wallenberg, thank you. Tony Gilroy, Kathleen Kennedy. Oh, cool. Of course. Let's go Executive producer of all, all new Star Wars. That was amazing. That I'm was gonna, really I cool. I want to get to the cast. So this, this D Deputy Inspector Karn is clearly like a total hard ass, but it's also like his first assignment and he's very nervous and not very good at like interacting with other people. Yes. And now this, this sergeant guy who's like, I, I can't tell if he's also just like a real true believer, like a company man. Oh yeah. Or if he's just, or if he's just sucking 100%. up to this guy being no. like, well said, sir. And all that no. stuff. I can't tell. But Nicholas Bratel. Either way. Nicholas Bratel with the music. Yes. Yeah, the music the music is on point. It really helps drive home that this is a very different kind of show, you know? 100%. We had we had like basically I, I wouldn't call it a sex scene, but like an intimate love scene well, for yeah, sure. That's true. For Disney. I mean not for Disney, for Star Wars. That was a sex scene. Well, for for Disney Star Wars. I mean <laughs> both are true. Gosh, you... Either way, I really liked it. I really liked it. I can't wait to see what happens next and we have one more episode to get through tonight. God, um it's gorgeous. I'm trying yeah, to get to seriously. the past. What is her name? Uh, you talking about Bix? Her name is Bix. That's right. The character's name is Bix. I don't know Bix the actress. But she is very her name is Adria Arjona. You guys are amazing. Yeah, no, the, the cast is killing it so far. So oh, really, really Alphas good performances too. Alphas must be what the too. cops are called. Interesting. Well, I'm really enjoying this so far. I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode, which we're going to dive into pretty much right now. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Andor Episode 2. This reaction was edited by Nerd Chronic to sneak it past the Imperial Blockade, but if you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, you can head over to our Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Yes. Thank you all, and as always, may, may the, the Force be with you.